Hey there, I'm Virginia Autry from Hampton Lake in Florida, and I am so excited about this Real Women of Philadelphia Cream Cheese Contest with Paula D. It's going to be a really fun eight weeks, and I'm going to have a great time showing you some of my recipes. We're on week one, and we're doing a side dish, and so I chose macaroni and cheese. I have to take that everywhere I go. Everybody requests it, so I gave it a little fun name. I named it Feel Good Macaroni and Cheese because it's a good comfort food, makes you feel good to eat it. Phil, P-H-I-L for Philadelphia, Philadelphia cream cheese. So feel good macaroni and cheese. So what we're gonna need for this is to saute an onion in a little bit of butter, and then we're gonna make a roux. And a roux is a really easy thing to make. It's flour and butter, and you mix that together, and it gets really bubbly, and then you're gonna add in your milk and a little seasoning, and then you have a, a white sauce. To that, we're gonna make a cheese sauce with some cheddar cheese and some Philadelphia cream cheese. So let's get started on that. So what's gonna start us off is that sauteing that onion in a little bit of butter. So I would say probably about a tablespoon. And I'm gonna go ahead and put that into my pan. And probably on about a little bit of a medium heat. And I chopped the onion already. Good gosh, y'all, I'm nervous on TV. <laughs> I can't do that and not chop my fingers off. So I've got a little onion here, small one, I would say small to medium onion. And um, we're just gonna saute this until it's translucent. Uh, we really don't wanna brown it. And so while that's going, I'm gonna go ahead and switch burners here, put it on this burner so I can be a little bit closer to you. And we're gonna start that, that cheese sauce I was talking about. So what we're gonna need for that, again, is butter. And we need four tablespoons, which is a half a stick of butter. And I'm gonna put that in the pan here. And to that, I'm gonna add four tablespoons of flour. So I'll just go ahead and measure that out here. I'm gonna move things around so you can see what I'm doing. And to get a good tablespoon, I wanna level that off. It's one. Just level it off with the back of the knife, two, three, and four. And we're done with that one, too. Okay, so I'm going to pop that in the pan. And I'm going to use a whisk for this, just so it doesn't have a lot of lumps. And mix that together really good. And... As soon as that gets good and bubbly, I'll show you a picture of it so you'll know what I'm talking about. Got to stir these onions. Boy, they're smelling good. Okay. Well, I've been cooking since I could stand in a chair. I never really liked too much of what my mama made. But uh, I pulled a chair up to the stove and started cooking myself. So, wasn't long I thought I was the queen of the kitchen, that's for sure. All right, I want to get a shot of what's going on here, so. Here's that four tablespoons of flour and four tablespoons of butter, and it's good and bubbly. It's cooking a little bit, and we want it to cook a little bit because if we don't, it'll be real floury and won't taste good. And here's these onions sauteing, and they're just about translucent, so I'm going to cut those off, and uh, they'll be ready for us to put into our sauce. Now, okay, so we're ready to add the three cups of milk and whisk that together. It's really important that you whisk it together pretty quick because you don't want it to start getting clumpy. You want a smooth soft. This is gonna take a few minutes and you do need to stir it. Uh, it's gonna take a few minutes to thicken. And when that does thicken, we're gonna add our cheeses. So I need to add a little bit of salt And pepper to taste. Now I use white pepper and I'll tell you why. I just don't like those big old giant specks in my macaroni and cheese. I think it looks so much better and still gives you that pepper flavor. Whisk that in. Now to this white sauce we're also going to add those onions and they're nice and translucent now. They are ready. So we'll give this just a few minutes to go ahead and thicken. Okay, so this is really nice and thick now, and uh, we're going to be ready to add our cheeses to that. So, 
in goes a pound and a half of sharp cheddar cheese. I'm moving to a spoon now so I can stir that around. And I've got the heat down a little bit to low now, so because we sure don't want to scorch this stuff. And I'm going to put in my, also my 8 ounces of Philadelphia cream cheese. Put that in there and give it a good stir and get it nice and melted and mixed in. Now, we can't forget about those onions. Lord knows I love an onion. And we've got it nice and translucent. Like we want it. And all that onion has infused that butter, which is just going to make that sauce so good. In goes the onion. And we'll keep stirring this so it'll all mix together. Smelling delicious in here. I wish y'all had some smell vision. Okay, I pre-cooked my pasta and I've got it here and I'm going to put it right back into the pot that it came out of. That's a way I don't have to dirty another dish. Another good tip from Aunt Virginia. I'm full of them. I'll try to share them too with you as I go along. No need to dirty every dish in the house. Okay, now we've got this cheese sauce nice and ready to go. I'm gonna pour that right over my pasta. and stir it all together and I've already sprayed this pan. This recipe makes a 9 by 13 pan full and I like those big noodles you know because you get a little cheese sauce in with the pasta like soaks it up really good. Give it a little stir here. In the pan she goes. for about 40 minutes and um, be sure and check it. I check my food all the time make sure it's not getting too done. So. And in the oven she goes. We're going to have some real good, feel good macaroni and cheese. Well, it's ready to come out of the oven now. Ooh, it's hot in there. Oh, that smells so good. Alright, well let's dip a little bit of this up. I've prepared uh, some fried chicken and I've got a little asparagus here. And just to show you that this uh, macaroni and cheese is just a great side dish. I wish y'all could hear this just a bubbling. That's some feel-good macaroni and cheese right there. Mm. Thank you so much for letting me share my recipe today. I'm certainly looking forward to next week. And again...